Jen. Well, tonight recovery efforts are underway after the high winds whipped through western New York over the last 24 hours. Yeah, and the town of Eden was one of the hardest hit with nearly 85% of the residents there spending last night in the dark. Two on your sides, Andy Payton has been on the ground there for us all evening long. And Andy, what's the latest at this hour? Well, Scott and Mary Alice, almost everyone here in the town of Eaton has been affected by this storm in one way or another. In fact, we just spoke with a woman off camera who told us one of her friends was stuck on the side of the road for multiple hours yesterday when this storm first hit, trapped underneath some power lines. And tonight, the town hall behind us here is doubling as a warming shelter. And you could hear it just, uh, it just banging against the house. Over 24 hours later, this sounded like a freight train going through. And parts of the town of Eden still remain in the dark. The whole neighborhood's without power. The small town of just 7,500 saw the worst of the storm, with wind gusts reaching hurricane-like speeds, ripping down trees and power lines, like this one along Route 62, spanning a quarter of a mile. In all, the storm knocking out the lights for almost 85% of the town. The infrastructure is really, from engineering standards, is built to, be, uh, to withstand 50 mile an hour. Mark Schwen is with National Grid. So when we see wind sources like that uh, up above 50, it's where it can be a concern. He tells me towns like Eden just aren't built to handle these conditions. In the city of Buffalo, a lot of the, in the infrastructure is underground. Um, so th and that's unique to the city within city limits. Uh, when you get outside of the city, everything is overhead. Tonight, crews on the ground in Eden working around the clock to get the lights back on. It could be out till tomorrow dinner time is what their guess is but still no official word on when. In the meantime, the town and National Grid working to give residents the supplies they need. I have no water to take a shower, brush my teeth, um, go to the bathroom. Offering this dry ice and water drive, handing out over 5,000 pounds of ice and running out of water in just three hours. We were expecting, they said, you know, maybe 50 to 100 cards in that, you know, over the four hours. So it was that in about five minutes. Tonight, residents in Eden just wishing to avoid another night in the dark. I hope when I get home I have power and I don't have to use the dry ice. I can throw it in the yard. <laughs> now there is some good news for residents here tonight. We were just told that it's now down to about a thousand residents here still without power with the goal of that all being okay. Everyone's lights back on by about this time tomorrow. Live in Eden tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.